blessing follow me. Get plenty money. Follow me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I were here back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder you love me. I love you back. I love you with I love you back to back. Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. Where is my backpacker? Of course, we are everywhere this morning. We are in New York. We finally made it to New York. Hey, village girl is in Yankee. Of course, another leg is everywhere. Even Coco Mama is here. One leg is in Germany, in fact. Uh, CEO of Lazy Gang is on the high seat here. Yalla, yalla, mama. Sit down. Coco Mama of the Most High, we are here. You and I, the blessed and the worst. Lazy gang, girl. <laughs> Notification gang, gang, girl. My able moderators, my lovers, my inner cackles, personal persons, silent viewers. Hey, you guys are all amazing. Keyboard reactors, how can we forget about you? Thank you all so much for what you do for Coco Mama. Thank you for coming back to support me like always. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomest of my heart. Guys, can we forge ahead ahead? Quick updates on Vin and Lenny. <laughs> Last time I spoke about Vin and Lenny was when I was suspicious of his last video. And I told you guys that we need to check on him. When somebody says, oh, we'll see you on the other side. Which side? Like when Vin said, see you on the other side, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. I hope this boy... Guys, there's something I want to say here. I'm not expecting Lenny to be perfect. I'm not saying that Vin is perfect. Tell me who is perfect in this life. Don't, if you are looking at me here, don't be disappointed. Don't go and be killing yourself or be advising my friend. Oh, you better re-evaluate this friendship. What is this? A friend should stand for a friend. Well, I'm coming to that because I don't know. Coco Mama can make up things here. And that's why some of you guys, especially if you are new to this channel, will be like, oh, but she's not talking about what the title says. Oh, I don't understand her English. Her accent is so thick. Oh, I'm lost here. I thought, oh, she's supposed to address this. What is this? What is this? I'm out of here. Oh, this channel. Mm -mm -mm. Coco Mama is well like that. You have to have in our mind you have to have strong will in order to understand how coco mama operates here because me whatever i'm doing every nonsense i do here i carry my people along but you have to pay attention very well whatever i do you see this uh mbosamboka fever now going vo -vo 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 -vo. everybody feeling like oh scrutinize everybody feeling like killing me i've lost people already even my moderators, people that, my backbones here, basically. I saw my backbones, you know, screwing me, like, basically. <laughs> I'm like, you need to hear from the other side. Don't just conclude. You understand? You need to also hear. Mega, mega shout out to some of you guys, especially the lazy people. I mean, the guys that support both me and CEO. Because there's something I want to say here. We have three types of supporters here. I'm not talking about a random person who just bumps into my content or into my channel because YouTube pushes it out, okay? No, I'm talking about the regular people, our regular people here. We have three groups groups here. We have this group that supports Coco Mama. You go to CEO's channel. Even if they watch, you will not see them engaging. What I mean is, you know, dropping comments, showing that, showing their support like 100% because Support comes in different forms. You can view me and you don't comment. It doesn't mean that you don't support me, but you are not noticed. Like, I will never know that somebody like you exists, but you are giving me full support, okay? There's this other group that supports CEO, and you come here on my channel, you will not see them. You might even hear them saying it, oh, Coco Mama, I wish I could support her, but I don't understand her. She's dancing, she's saying so many stuff that doesn't make sense to me. I've seen a lot of stuff like that. Now, what I want to say, you see, Coco Mama, 
You are not supposed to do this. Finish with Vin and learning. One after the other. Mm. What is this? Anyway, let me know. Go there. But let me finish with these three sets of people. Okay. Let me just say three types of people that support us here. Among lazy gang, among, you know, when somebody wishes you well. Those kind of people. Someone who supports me. Someone who supports CEO but don't support me. And number three, we have people that support both of us. So I just quickly want to say thank you. Mega, mega shout out for those that support me. They believe in me and they believe in CEO. Okay? And they didn't judge yet because CEO came out already indicating that there's something happening and she's not happy with it. So those of them that already responded, especially taking sides, without really hearing or finding out what really happened. I believe that they are not my supporters. And it's okay. That's another thing I will be addressing here. But let's finish with Vin and Lenny and Victor. <laughs> we actually have Victor now. Because Victor is the one. Ever since Vin deleted and uh, did his last video, we haven't seen him, okay, appearing on their couple channel. Meanwhile, he has his own channel. Why is he not coming? Now, after that, after I did my last, in fact, before I premiered that video, this Vin came crying. Hey, what I would say, disturbing, you know, if you have conscience, even if you were against Vin or you blamed Vin, you understand, you would feel that, okay, even lady herself, wherever she is, seeing that video, seeing that uh, video that Victor did would make her panic. It will make her feel the worst. She will even regret ever coming out to even give a hint. Because actually, all these things started from Lenny. I'm not here to push blames. If you understand the first time I read, I said it that there was financial issue here. Both of them are not working. Both of them are myopic. Okay? Mismanagement here and there is could be. Because we're not sure. Yeah, at the end of the day, we're not sure. It was just as me. So, mismanagement could be the problem here, but it shouldn't make you leave your marriage. So long as you still love each other, money shouldn't, because if you look at Lenny, I shared their humble beginning. Lenny knew quite well that this guy is from the slum. So money shouldn't be a problem. You understand? We shouldn't be seeing stuff like, oh, she tried to take over everything. She wanted to take all the money for herself. Oh, she tried to change this. She's trying to change the account's name so that I will not have access. She did it. It shouldn't be a problem because Yanni, you saw this person and you loved him unconditionally with nothing. Yanni, you knew that he was not working. You knew that he's still very young. You knew the kind of job he's doing. He's almost like a, an entertainer. You're not even almost like what he's doing is entertainment. And when you're doing entertainment, you will be busy, busy with other girls. So jealousy will likely come in. And if you're that kind of a lady that knows that, hmm, this guy, I'm still going to consider if I want to have him for the rest of my life. I might date him, but that rank, no, 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 no. I'm not going to collect it from him. Because of what? Because of the nature of his job. You got all that to check. You understand? So, no matter how young she is, like I said, age aside, she's an adult. As soon as you are 18, you are an adult. You are expected... For her to leave her parents to come down to Kenya, she, saw, she ought to know what she wants. Mind you, she left her boyfriend behind. I was reading comments here and there. You know, some African people, they would just throw their own things. I believe this person is a guy. So this person said that he has married Oibo women twice, okay? And he, all he can conclude is that they are not good when it comes to marriage. You can't conclude like that. Are you guys going to say that? Oh, you both women are not married, or they don't believe in marriage, or they are not, you know, marriage uh, materials. <laughs> hey, I will not believe that. But stuff like this will make you understand that some people actually they can't take the heat. Okay, at first they are in love, they want to do everything. No, it's okay. I will go there with you with the, the slab. Uh, oh, that bed, I can even sleep on the floor, no problem. Oh, that bucket, give me that bucket. I will even shift. On that bucket i will even lick your ass you know i'm gonna do everything i love you so much then deep down 
when challenges set in, then you will see the true color. You see that the person will be finding her way out of the top. You understand? So I believe that you can see stuff. You can see stuff like that even in Africa. You can see people with that kind of mentality anywhere. It got nothing to do with the color. It got nothing to do with the race. It got nothing to do with where the person comes from. Now, then after that stress video. He made that video stress the hell out of me. Not because I support him. It looks like I support him because I've not really come out here to hit him very hard. Guys, <laughs> hey, this bully that we're talking about, we feel it. We feel it under the comment section. And that's why you saw CEO raising that concern, screaming that this is what is happening in Coco Mama's channel. If we are dishing it out, as content creators, we should be very, very ready to be receiving it. Last, how am I going to say this now? About a year ago, exactly a year ago, there was these reactors, okay? One is from Ghana, another one is from Kenya. So think, among what we would regard them as lazy reactors, because some of them later on put out and be doing their own things, which is okay. Okay, so I noticed that whenever I visit them to comment, when I comment, someone will come under my comment and be calling me witches and be insulting me. It happened in a reactor from Ghana's channel. It happened in a reactor from Kenya's channel, okay? It happened here and it didn't just happen once. Then I did this video. I'm going to let you guys listen. Like, uh, some of the reactors. You will go there and drop your comments, drop, drop your view. Another person from nowhere, faceless. So you, you don't have identity. I don't know you. I don't know which country you are watching from. I don't know whether you are a ghost. You will come and be calling me evil and devil. And some of you reactors, I'm not going to mention names here. I'm going to drop the comments here because what I want to say is, if you are supporting me and you don't get that support, you don't get that vibe, back from me just know that your community you don't keep it clean because if you look at my community if you look at black beauty's community we don't entertain these people because you can't throw shit at me you can't insult me for giving my own opinion meanwhile you are giving your own and on top of it you are insulting me mine i'm giving mine without insult now some of these people they don't even know the genesis of the whole issue So when this happened, I came out with this video. I said, CEO and I will never tolerate such. As soon as we see someone insulting, you, you may not even be a lazy gang or whatever, but as soon as we see someone bashing someone that we know here, let's say, for example, Kaven or the hell, you understand? So regular people that we know, normally see here, or AL or even Vita. So many of you guys, Diana, we have a lot of you guys that we haven't seen you physically, but with your name, we know you exist here. You, your real name might not be AL, your real name might not be Diana Vita, your real name might, might not be whatever, you understand? But for the fact that you support us here, anywhere we see you around these streets, in terms of Yabahanze and what is happening, around the Yabuhanze, we know you as Diana, okay? Now, if someone comes to my channel to say nonsense about you, I'm going to come after that person. I'm going to delete that person. It doesn't matter whether the person supports me or not. Maybe the person didn't have any issue with me. This was Coco Mama about a year ago. You can see how I was fuming and ranting here. This is it. This is how we handle bullying. But I may say that CEO forgot. That's why it looks like we are fighting now. She forgot that actually I am worse than anybody here when it comes to, I mean, when it comes to blocking people. You go to her channel. There are so many people that used to support both of us. They no longer come to my channel. And in fact, let me even confess, I've blocked them. And I told CEO this. I said to CEO, we can't continue like this. Because prior to this in Mbosamboka, I don't want to call out names, okay? During Fellow the Boy, we, we are meant to 
block another person that is a very big supporter here because this person took the side of fellow the boy okay and we were pushed CEO we were in fact she was very very mad at me because it looks like that person was harsh on her and she became very mad and I said to her I said we can't continue like this CEO I'm doing this because she has brought stuff out I'm not supposed to do this and I will try not to call anybody's name so that this person will not feel offended or something but maybe this person will pick if you are a supporter of fellow the boy and you have done stuff to us or in the comment section you might understand what I'm saying so CEO became very very mad at me because I said no I can't just do your own thing what the best way this will work for us is since we know already that some people will agree with me some will not agree with me but they will agree with you so let's not even if it's possible since we are friends okay and we have met each other one-on-one -on -one, let's i gave i gave her example like uh, nelo keke and uh Adese. they are both content creators and they are big nigerian content creators if you watch nigerian content creators you know who i'm talking i gave her an example i said if you go to diana Epueme, or not diana if you go to nelo keke you don't see that there's a space there whether on premiere or in the comment section i said let's do it like that so that you will not feel like oh look at what this person is doing on your channel i'm offended and then it will affect us privately you understand you, you, imagine what is happening on the street affecting you and your friend privately it's not nice so we come to conclusion that we're going to take you remember at some point i told you guys that there was a pseudo coco mama that came during ceo's premiere causing problem and everybody thought it was me and ceo gave this coco mama a blue jacket so when i woke up i was mad at ceo i came i always tell you guys everything that i'm doing here so i was very mad at ceo i said ceo how can you give me another jacket you've given me jacket you've given me I, I slept um i mean you know you know how i sleep and also you know that we did not fight or anything and even if we fight why should I go and unsubscribe or whatever? What would, uh, I mean, to remove myself? We were in good terms, actually. And that time, there was another pastor that used to attack me. That pastor, that fake Coco Mama, was also in that pastor's space, doing a, a lot of stuff with my name. CEO ha had to call me, even though I have slept. She called me, she said, Coco Mama, you are here sleeping. Look at what pastor is doing to this fake pastor is doing to you i said i'm tired me one thing with me is my shock absorber is very very high it's 150 <laughs> percent because it, it, it has gotten to a point i've told myself do you want to be here yes do you have people that really want you to be here yes do you make money here you understand money ha. the evil woman in me will come out of course at the end of the day do you make money here yes you make money you have one you are vibing with your people here every other thing shouldn't bother you and that's why it looks like i left mbosampoka and you guys remember a few days ago last week i told you guys that mbosampoka is not a bad person to me and god knows even ceo she knows this one that ceo said that every day this guy is tormenting me we don't even know whether a guy or a lady okay this person is tormenting me every day on coco mama's channel you go she's saying it like this because she's becoming emotional and sentimental to this this guy doesn't comment on every of my video you guys should go and look at it if you click on the person's if you click on imposing bokas last comments on my video you will see that the entire comment is about 28 some of you guys got like 300 400 some of you guys have started supporting me for the past two years okay you your comments here is loaded your comments here some like if you click on al's comments you will see that hey baby girl has been here supporting me now tomorrow for example if al comes to say you know what Coco mama i disagree with you on this boom i will block her no even if she says it anyway Let's say she goes to CEO's channel and she says it. Okay, let me use AL for an example again. AL is my biggest backbone here. She supports me, even if she's not in my premiere. Whenever she gets time, she will her comment will tell you 
the amount of support she gives me. You understand? You will see that literally, literally, this person is out to support me. So I was talking to CEO. I told CEO, um, I'm surprised that you don't get this kind of support from AL. Can you check? Maybe you blocked her. You understand? Possibly, maybe she has said something. Guess what? C CEO went and checked. Lo and behold, AL was blocked from CEO's channel. She unblocked her. Um, but we don't know how to come out to say it. She may not know how to come out to say, AL, I blocked you. Because she knows that I appreciate AL a lot. Even when we talk. We talk about you know what is going on on our channel. We review things. Or what to do. How to mend our ways. The corrections here and there. You know. And all that. That is an example. And that is why it's not good to judge before you conclude. Bosian Boka has only commented on my channel, probably less than 30 comments. And he doesn't or she doesn't comment on my channel every day. Yes, at some point, this person appeared during my premiere, which I told you guys that some of these things, I might not be aware of it. Maybe a moderator handled it without me knowing. Okay? I have other things. I'm always distracted during my premiere. So don't think, oh, Coco Mama didn't say anything. In fact, like what some of them are saying now in uh, CEO's channel, in her community post. Some of them are saying, oh, I don't watch that channel anymore because of Mbosi Amboka. You have just done exactly what you are complaining about. You guys that took sides, okay? You guys that are questioning our friendship. You don't know who CEO is to me. I've met her twice. I've met her family members. You understand? We know each other. We know each other past YT. When you see someone coming to say, oh, look at what my friend is doing to me. You don't know whether this person is speaking out of stress. You don't know what is there. All you need to hear is, oh, be well. Like some of the comments I read there. It's reasonable. You go to my community. You think I couldn't have even put up a post and let people that also want to solely support me without hearing or even believing what CEO said. You think I cannot do that? I will not. We should be careful how we take sides here. We should be careful how we judge people. You can be friends if you are connected to CEO that way. You feel like you want to one-on-one -on -one with her. Why not? But don't judge me. You don't know me. You understand? You don't know what made Musi Amboka or what made me... Okay, this comment now. Mbosiamboka dropped and CEO fled up. I guarantee you it was somebody that took the screenshot and sent it to CEO. Because most of the times, our audience, either they make us or they break us. But as a reactor, as a content creator, you should stand firm. You should know when someone is gaslighting or feeding you or trying to bring problems between you and your friend. When you already have agreement with your friend. As soon as CEO told me about Mbosi Amboka, I came here and I addressed it. You guys, if you have not seen that video, I did it last week. Listen to this. If you are about to say something, avoid name calling. Because when you do name calling and I put a heart to it, it will look like I'm supporting that thing you have said. Actually, I may not agree to whatever you have said if I put a heart, but for the fact that you are someone that stand with me here, whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me, if you have said something, I will, I'm forced to, you know, put a heart or leave a comment or leave your comments. I've grown like that because I remember six months or even eight months ago when we came to this year of hands, okay? If I see someone, maybe you are supporting me, supporting me, and the moment you disagree with me, I will feel like, oh, this person hates me. I don't think this person wish me well. I, will, I can even go to the extent of... Uh, blocking that person but i've decided not to do that anymore but what i want to say here is when you are commenting and you know that you are talking let's say you are on my channel and you are talking about another person okay let's say ceo avoid calling her name because again it will look like all we are doing is we're fighting each other through you guys in a nutshell avoid calling give your opinion me i don't agree with everything you see ceo <laughs> hey, let me even say it on a lighter note, not like we are fighting or anything. You see this case of Vincent and Lena. I don't know, okay? 
But I'm totally opposite of CEO. I respect her. It's her opinion that Vin is da 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 da. I'm not even gonna say because this other lady is a German and CEO is German. No, she's speaking purely from her own opinion. How she has seen these things. Okay, I'm also like that. So have you seen it? Now, if you go to her channel. I wouldn't be happy seeing you calling me out. Oh, Modesta Lifestyle or Coco Mama is nonsense doing this. Da, 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 da. I will feel offended. I will feel like, okay, her people are attacking me. If I do the same thing, let's say you have said, oh, CEO is the one that, oh, for example, CEO is the one saying all this nonsense about this Vincent. That's why a lot of people are subscribing from his channel. That's why this one. If I put a heart or I even leave the comment, it will look like we are fighting CEO. Have you seen it? So that's why it's, name calling is not good. We, we can do better, guys. Name calling is not good. Someone actually did this to us. Oh, you changed niche. Oh, they are no longer doing it. Your hands. Who told you? Now, I made it clear. I said, don't call names. But I can't do what I did last year. I can't continue like this. It kills me whenever, for example, you are not a regular person, okay? And you, you're just coming in. The first thing you are telling me is, I don't understand your English. Your accent is thick. Your English is so bad. Your title is wrong. Your everything is bad. You can do better. All you are doing here is throwing and embarrassing, harassing, bullying people. I will never support you. You are evil, you are ugly. Take a look at yourself in the mirror. Look at you, very as old as you are. This is what you have chosen to do on this space. Wallahi, you come like that. First, I will check you out. I'll click on your little face by the side to check if this is your first time of dropping this kind of disturbing comment. If it's your first time, I'm going to block you instantly. This is what I told CEO. We have discussed it. If I'm lying, let her come back and respond to this. She knows I'm not lying. She knows that we have, because of fellow the boy case, okay? And some people went really harsh. Including, there's another Yabohanza reactor that, that have decided now to insult me, okay? Blame me that I'm paying Mashubo. You know, said a lot of stuff without evidence. If you're going to tell me that I've sent money to Mashubo, make sure you go to that bank and print out the evidence. Showing that, yeah, Coco Mama is the one sponsoring Mashubo for content. Because this reactor claimed that I'm doing all this so that I will get content from Mashubo, okay? That's why I'm supporting. Guess what? <laughs> there was a time I was in Nigeria. I didn't know what was happening. When I came back, CEO, I mentioned this reactor on my channel. CEO flared up. Like I said, don't blame me if I'm saying this. And it will make some people feel bad. Because... I have to respond to this. I have to also make people understand me because I've lost like 30 something subscribers out of this. I wake up, I'm losing. I'm gaining anyway. It's common. Because you look at CEO, you feel like, what kind of a friend is Coco Mama? You forgot CEO that we actually agreed on this. And I'm very, very sure that someone pushed her actually. Because I know my friend. Someone pushed her. I know that we have agreed on this, that I can't do this anymore. It kills me, she knows. If you are supporting me, like I said, I'm very quick to, I'm very short-tempered, okay? I'm very quick to act. If you've been supporting me, you've been there for me, you know, for more than a year, supporting me, regardless of my wrongdoing, regardless whether some contents might take on it, you didn't like it, but you still find a way to support me, you still find a way to be there for me, and just one day you disagree with me somewhere on another channel, because <laughs> the truth of the matter is we, as reactors, we may not be commenting, but we are everywhere you understand, you want to see what is happening in A.M. Carol's comment section you are going to a trendy to see oh, what, what are they saying there, because you guys you are everywhere as well, so we reactors, we are also everywhere we see all this, ah now, I'm getting them seeing Diana Sina mentioning my name and that's why I said to Mbosem Boka, give your opinion because I've told CEO, we don't have control over this have 
heaven is my witness. I was not aware that Mosemboka puts any video. I was not aware that Mosemboka used to drop videos on his channel. You know, insulting. Probably he has even insulted me. You understand? Because when you see you complain to me that this Mosemboka is causing problem, this person is not a lazy member. I said, okay, I believe you, but also understand that. In fact, let me put it clear, guys. This person has never insulted CEO on my channel. Now, it doesn't mean that if this person goes to another reactor's channel, he may not do something stupid or different. Now, it didn't happen on my channel, okay? If it happens on my channel, I can delete the comments. I've even told him, Mr. Mboka, give your opinion, but in a very nice way. Be constructive. If you do the same thing to me on another channel, I will not be happy. If you are direct, like what uh, another keyboard reactor did, another keyboard reactor actually came calling us out that we are moving, okay, we are painting African men bad, we are making Oibo women not to marry African men, concluded, concluded like that, that we have changed the niche from Yabohanze, now we are doing something different. I'm like, hey, what is this? You don't have control what I react on. Tomorrow, I can decide to come here and talk about a Nigerian celebrity or what is happening in Nigeria. It doesn't matter. We are everywhere. You can react to anything across social media. So, we don't have control over these things. We don't have control over our audience. And if someone dropped a comment on my channel without mentioning your name, it's wrong for you to pick it. If someone dropped a comment and says one of your friends, okay, you, it's wrong for you to feel that, oh, this person is talking about CEO. It's wrong because you don't know whether this person was actually referring to another person as a friend. I don't know you. I've never met you. But because you support me here, you are my friend. I can call you my friend. So my, a friend is a general note. If this person had mentioned CEO's name, there's no way I would leave that comment. There's no way I would not address it. I saw comments like in my post. I just made a post. I didn't say anything that I'm fighting with CEO. Someone came there. I will love both of you. I'm like, okay. These viewers, okay, are you going to tell me to delete such comments? I don't want to do this anymore because it hurts. And when you do it, they know. This is not looking good at all. Or someone comes to say, oh, settle this. It's not nice when you guys are fighting. Oh, I have a feeling CEO and Coco Mama are fighting. And then I'm going to remove the comment. It doesn't make sense to me. This is what I have decided. And that is where this problem came from. Then it looks like Mbosamboka is attacking CEO on my channel, which I have never noticed. I've never experienced that. Is this person attacking CEO outside somewhere? Possibly yes. Do I have control over that? No. At some point, after a pastor came for me like this, there's another one called Don Papi. There are so many of them. I understand CEO saying that, okay, if it happens somewhere, it's not a problem. If it happens somewhere and you can absorb it, if it happens even on your friend's channel, don't get in fact, eh, one thing that I've also come to learn is, you know, when somebody drops a negative, there was a time someone insulted the hell out of me. Insulted me. What did I do? I pinned the comment, and you lazy people came after that person. You gave it to this person. And I, I ended up laughing. I ended up feeling good. You understand? We should also see negativity as a way of... Um, we should also see negativity... In a positive way. It actually means that this person is obsessed with you. This person cannot leave you. You understand? Um, as a reactor, especially us, we are seen as negative reactor because we dwell more on negative side. Me. So that's why I don't get offended. If you look at CEO, for example, most of the people, let's say six months back, Eight months back, they used to support both of us. Okay, you go to her channel, 
you will see them. You come to my channel, we know this. Even some of you guys, you, you understand what I'm talking about. Now, because of what this person or because of what they have done, I decided I became so, uh, how will I say it? I became so mad and I decided to delete this person. As soon as I do this, offline is killing me. It's killing me when I block someone who I've never met, who has never done anything positive on this channel, okay? I don't feel bad, but when I know that oh, this person at some point has been there for me, I feel really bad to block such people. So that is exactly what happened. Mbosa Mboka, stop bullying CEO. That's what I want to beg you here. Allow her to do what she wants to do. Allow her to give her opinion. You might, you might see it as harsh. You might see it as being mean to others. This is just her own way of reacting. This is just her own opinion. Okay? Respect my opinion. I respect yours. You can complain what somebody is doing on her channel. Okay? By insulting that person. You are basically doing the same thing. You know? People that felt like Mozambique's um, comment is very harsh on CEO. This person is insulting CEO. This person is doing this. You have just done the same thing on CEO's channel. But I'm not offended. I am not. If this was Coco Mama six months ago, I believe I will be blocking even the moderators. I saw some of people that moderate my channel. You didn't hear from me. You concluded immediately that I'm a bad friend to CEO. If this was six months ago, I will block. But I I know, I told CEO, I know that this will not take us anywhere because the more you continue, you continue, then it means you don't know what you are here for. You don't know your business. You don't care about your business. You don't know what you are here for. If people will be taking screenshots of, oh, this person is something, I don't want to know. I don't care. There are thousands of channels here. I talk about me. It's just like someone that I watched this morning before I pulled this camera. This is a Marwa supporter, okay? There's another auntie mm, that claimed that she didn't want to do reaction. There's another one that actually told uh, Komo to stay away from me. She's in Yankee, but from Kenya. Now, I can't believe what I'm seeing. She's doing exactly what she told. She told Komo, don't go to any reactor. Reactors, they are evil. It's not a good thing, you know, to get close to or believe whatever a reactor is doing. Today, she said that what works on her channel is reaction. Actually, I was watching her since last week. From the beginning, she was supporting V. Now, she's against V and Victor. It's still okay. You understand? If we reactors are like this, like today, I am against Lenny, for example. And tomorrow, I come back and I'm like, hey, Victor. I don't understand this your content anymore even though it's not monetized what is going on here huh? are you truly truly for our boy Vin? are you sure that you're a role model are you sure that you are there to help him or you are there to mislead him what is going on your content is not contented like it's not making sense but because i have to be honest to you this is how coco mama operates okay i can be for victor today tomorrow I will be like, what is going on here? Brother, say what you mean and mean what you say. It's not coming clear anymore. You have told us that Victor was in a terrible situation. Everybody panicked. Like, even his enemy panicked. Guys, I know that I'm mixing the problem, the issue I'm having with CEO and Victor, Victor and uh, Vince stuff together. I know I'm mixing everything together, but let it just be like that because that is what this content is all about. I'm dropping this to clear air so that you guys can understand why Mbosiamboka's comment is causing problem and why Coco Mama looks like she's a bad friend. <laughs> if you don't know me, you would think like that. I don't take any nonsense from anybody. But we can't continue like this, guys. If you know me, like what CEO said, okay, we've come a long way for people to just jump and conclude. Tell me who doesn't agree or disagree. Tell me who... I've always come here to tell you guys this, that I don't want to have much anymore. I don't want people to, you know, oh, this is CEO, this is Coco Mama. I don't want, I don't want,
want you guys to be on my business, basically. I don't want you guys to know what is going on. Even if I have fought with CEO, I don't want to sit on this street. I don't want anybody to know. You understand? That is how me I want it. Uh, but I know the force behind what CEO did. I know who did that. Exactly. I know who pushed her to do all this one that she's doing. Because she knows our agreement. And we are cool with it. That's why during the premiere, I'm there. Not with one gadget. During CEO's premiere, you might think I'm not there. <laughs> hey, think again. I am there. Full force. You may not see me comment. I don't need to comment because if I comment, then you will assume that oh, Coco Mama and CEO are friends now. We want to keep you guys like that. That is how it is. What we are doing here, we are like in the office. You understand? That's what it looks like. We are at workplace. Now, what happens after workplace? It's none of your business. Have you got it? <laughs> So I want to make these things clear. If you are taking the side of CEO, be careful. Because she might come out because somebody pushed her. Oh, what, 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 what are you still doing with that old woman? Eh? <laughs> hey, I might even read your own comments. <laughs> I might even read... You guys, you guys, uh, you don't know what content creators do. That's why content creators, content creators... There's nothing, it's a win-win. Let me just put it. There's nothing that a content creator does that is wrong. If you come out here and you are crying, you are kicking your friend under the box, you are making your friend look bad, it's still a good market because then you are bringing emotion out of people. You are actually letting your friend see who really cares about her. You, <laughs> you are letting your friend know her enemies. Like, what CEO did that actually she exposed my enemies and gave it to me like this <laughs> and at, at the end of the day you will still be thinking that oh i don't think they are friends anymore don't you see they don't visit each other don't you see they don't comment oh did you see her, in her? oh she hasn't come to her premier for a while now oh you keep assuming you keep taking sides you can be her friend ceo knows me very well you understand she knows me in and out if I'm a bad person, let her come out and say it. <laughs> yes, let her come out, beat her chest and be like, you know what? The worst human being I've ever met in this life is this woman. This elderly woman, Coco Mama. Eh? This woman in Qatar is the worst woman I've ever... Let her come out, beat her chest and say it. But until then, don't take sides. Before we conclude, guys... Because today's video is just jiggy zaga. It came like that. Look at our names everywhere. Even the guys that are not supposed to. Imagine, I bring my face here every day. You're going to bring CEO's face. Bring Coco Mama's face. You are judging us. You are reading comments. And your face is nowhere. Eh? You are very stupid. You are the most deadliest human being ever. You pull my face on your screen. You played my voice notes, you read my community post, you read my comments, you played my music, you played everything. I mean, you played my video, okay? And you are nowhere in the picture. You are deadly. You are only bringing, you are only bringing your voice, which is useless. You are only making assumptions. You are, I mean, all you do on your channel is to defend another person by insulting me by saying so many stuff that you don't know about me oh ceo is scared of coco mama when ceo was talking about vin her voice was very high she was hyping 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 as if she was gonna slap vin oh when she spoke about coco mama that will tell you that we are okay that will tell you that we are not perfect we can agree to stuff we can disagree to stuff she can correct me but privately in a nice way okay i can correct her as well i can wrong her because i'm woman she can wrong me when she wronged me i may not take my community post to come and say oh look at what ceo did to me okay even if someone has asked me to do it i may still not do it because it's not my way i want to take anything about my friendship with my friend outside social media 
Now, another problem we are getting, and I know it's coming from some viewers as well, okay? Now, they don't mean harm to this. But it happens. Let's say there's a topic coming, like Lenny and Vin. I decided to take the side of Vin. I decided not to bash Vin. Or if I have anything negative, I'll just say it on a lighter note. I can be... But I decided not to, okay? But I decided to go more harsh on Lenny. And you go to CEO, is the opposite. I said it also here. It's okay. You must not overthink. You know, some of you people can overthink. You must not go to her DM and be like, why is Coco Mama behind you? <laughs> Everything that you said. She went to her channel. This woman is jealous of your view, so... <laughs> This woman is not happy that you have made 1,000 subscribers within a day and she's not getting even one subscriber. This woman, in fact, let me even go and unsubscribe from her channel. She's very jealous of you. How can she be doing this to her friend? Eh? On totally everything that you have said, she went and she turned it around. I told you to leave this woman. Oh, you are still calling her your friend? A CEO. I'm very, very disappointed with you. You think she's your friend? I'm sorry for you. She's not your friend. She's evil. She's jealous of you. Let me tell you. She can't believe it the way you are climbing. Can't you see that nobody comes to watch her? Even her premier. Can't you see that nobody is there? Did you see her community? Nobody really cares about her. <laughs> you understand? Like I said, you guys are the ones that make us and break us. But kudos to some of you that understand how these things work. Kudos to some of you that regardless doesn't take sides okay or judge kudos i dropped my wig for all of you in fact even if you have taken sides okay it's okay it's i'm actually enjoying it it doesn't i prefer when you judge me like this then at least i know i have room to improve at least i know okay probably i'm too soft uh why am i even feeling bad okay since this person I've caught this person doing this to my friend somewhere, not on my channel. Like I said, I've never seen any harsh comment from Mbosi Amboka. This one that CEO was saying, every day, this guy is on Coco Mama's channel. It's pure sentiments, okay? She's overwhelmed by saying that. It's pure sentiments because Mbosi Amboka doesn't comment on my channel every day. That's number one. And this person has only commented, like I said, not quite a lot. During premiere, there was a time he did stuff. Guys, let me address this fake K or something, okay? This lady called fake K Ray. First time I noticed her on my channel, she had problem with one of the moderators, not me. You understand? And then, I'm seeing her comments, even during the case of Mashubo. Many, many times you read her comment, you come back, the comment is gone. Probably somebody deleted or Mashubo removed. You understand? But if you go to CEO's community post now, she's acting like an angel. It's still okay. It's still okay because even in CEO's channel, there was a time she actually called me out. Now, she cannot remember. She's saying, show me. You think I'm going to come here and show you or call out the moderator that corrected you? I'm not going to do, but CEO even knows that it happened. But probably she forgot. It didn't just happen in CEO's channel. It happened to another person. Mind you, you, you don't have to be harsh on Coco Mama. But I can see you being harsh on someone. And then you come to CEO's channel. You are preaching to her that I'm a bad friend. You're preaching to her that why must I go against her or what she believes in. Oh, why can't I take her stand or take... It doesn't work like that. You guys... Before we got to this level, okay, because I know this thing actually started happening a few months ago, before we got here, we have always disagreed with each other. You go back and watch us. You remember the case of Ivancho, okay? CEO took the side of Ivancho. Go! You remember when Papa Mara was in Yankee? CEO took the... Ivancho would come to his premiere. You remember Joyce's? <laughs> That Joyce is, until she apologized to me, I'm still head, 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 because she actually accused me of looking for, of, or she actually accused, I am still head, head, head. 
Why? Because of the accuse she laid on me. She accused me that I'm running after Davo Junior, that I want Davo Junior, that I'm looking for young blood, okay? She didn't withdraw that statement till today. So until she withdraw the statement, then at least I can let go. But she's cool with CEO. So why must we all, you can only see because probably CEO got to a point of voicing it out and Coco Oma did not. You don't see it that way. There's a pastor, Pastor Bosman. Hey, he came for me. He came for me. He would come to CEO's comment section. Abuse me, abuse me. I would go offline crying. CEO, look at what this guy is doing. Look at what this guy. CEO will say, no, Coco Mama, take it easy. If I'm lying, let CEO come out. CEO will tell me, Coco Mama, because I blocked Pastor Boxman already, okay? CEO will tell me, no, 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 no. It's not like that, Coco Mama, but you should also understand if I block him now, he might come for me. Hey! When he came for CEO, that was when CEO blocked him. Did I come crying? You understand? No, we have always done our own thing. That's why I always say that nobody can control what I do here. You understand? I should be able to do or air my opinion. I should be able to come here and say whatever I feel like saying. Because of my own little understanding, I might be wrong. It might even make you to stop watching me. But it is what it is. It's soja go, soja come. It's soja go, soja come. Barracks remains. We don't have control over that. Tomorrow, you might agree with me. You might bump into my video again and be like, ah, Coco Mama was right. Okay, let me. It's like that. Our emotions are like that. We are all built differently. We shouldn't be taking these things so serious. It's not that so serious. It's not, it's not that serious. It's not. It's not something we should pay attention. It's not even something we should fight over. It's not. Relationship, friendship, marriage is between two people. And whenever you see two people fighting, yeah, it's okay to take sides because actually it lets the other person know who is who. But you try not to until you hear from the other person what actually happened. We have always fought, you know, we have always together jointly fight our enemies here we have always supported each other like that i'm not a selfish person mm -mm. and i'm not somebody that shy away from my problem i face my problem i don't look for trouble but i don't run away from trouble but you know you grow and you ask yourself okay i've been doing this you, imagine doing something and then offline you are crying you are regretting it you are counting but this person, do you really need to? Okay, even you as an individual, do you agree to everything someone is doing? You know? Now, whenever I see people talking about me, like this person I'm saying now, that is supporting Baba Marawa, and she will bring only her face for a few minutes, and then she's hiding behind the camera, and blabbing and complaining and talking nonsense, Oh, Coco Mama is like this old CEO. People are throwing us. You go to her comment. They are even saying that we are fighting because of money. Because the donors give this person more. And the other person is jealous. This person said, no, we are both fighting for power. Which power? Which power exactly? CEO's win is my win. My win is a win. We are totally two different individuals. Built differently, reasoning differently, seeing stuff differently. All we need to do is to come and take each other the way we are. Come to terms, agree to disagree. Okay, I have these flowers. Okay, take me like that. Oh, I have this good side of me. Okay, merge it together. Oh, you have this good side of you and you have this bad side of you. Okay, merge it together. Mix it up together. And everything will be okay. But you're coming, oh, CEO and Coco Mama are fighting. Do I know who you have fought? Do I know how many people you have fought? Does it mean that your does it mean that your own friendship you don't disagree or agree with people? Does it mean because Bosemboka left a comment 
and didn't even mention CEO's name. Okay, now see, all of a sudden, Coco Mama is a bad friend. This friendship should be reevaluated. Anybody that will not stand for a friend is not a friend. You have to let this woman go. Why are you even still calling her? Block a hell out of her. She is evil. I can't stand that woman even for a second. You can't stand me for a second. There are millions of people that will stand with me. And they will keep standing. Because you know what? It's a matter of choice. And nobody is perfect. Let's end it with Victor and Victor. <laughs> hey, Vicky and Vicky. This Victor guy... I don't want to judge him so much because nobody is perfect. I'm not here to side him. I can see that he did that video hurriedly without contacting the parents of V. That was wrong. Um, I'm not going to say that they are pretending because guess what? That video that V dropped last, like I said, even before this Victor came with the drama, crying, 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 looking like uh, he's under influence of something, looking like he doesn't know what he wants. Guys, he did not even monetize all these videos. So that would tell you that there's more to this. And we tend to judge too much, including me, even me, Coco Mama. We tend to judge because now I'm sitting back, I'm saying it could be an error. Maybe he forgot to call Vin's parents. Maybe it, it escaped his mind that he's supposed to inform them, oh, look at what is happening to Vin. You know, when it happened like that, because mind you that, Vin was not around. Vin was in another country. So his reaction, what he would do immediately, that happened. He might be confused where to start. Okay, should I call the parents? Or if I call the parents, they'll start panicking. Okay, let me at least rush him to hospital. Let me make sure that the doctors at least can save him. Whatever he has done, they can do damage control and revive him back. Okay, let me do that first. Okay, let me reach out to people because they might think that I actually did something to him. Let me shout that, oh, look at what has been to me. In fact, it's a mixed feeling that it can happen to me. When you are in that situation, emergency situation, you may not do things the right way. Now, subsequently, this guy is still claiming that, okay, he's not monetizing this video. So you're not going to say that he's doing this to bring more money, bring more attention. Now, coming to subscribers, you hear some comments like, even if he's not monetizing these videos, he's gaining subscribers. When somebody comes to your channel, the person might just view. View is actually the cocoa. View is the most important here because you don't have choice but to click on that ads, okay? And as soon as you click on someone's video, most at times the ads will pop up. So the person must have made the money. So money is the main thing, not even subscribers. Because subscriber depends on the person viewing you. The, the person connects to subscribe. You can view me and you don't feel like, you can view me every day, but you don't feel like giving me that subscription or even turning on the bell. You don't, it has not gotten to that. You can go to another channel immediately, boom, subscribe. So the viewers got control over that, not Victor. I don't believe he's doing all this to gain and gain attention. I believe that at some point he is, uh, Vin is going through stuff, but the way he's bringing this information out makes it look suspicious. Vin for sure is, Vin needs help. Tell me who would be okay. Your woman just walked away. And plus, I'm going around now and I'm reading comments, I'm watching other videos from content creators around. They are saying more stuff about Lenny. Now, I don't want to because of my friend, okay? Whatever I say here about Lenny, oh, people will go, hey, do, did you see how Coco Mama, hey, they will even, this particular thing that I have said, they will just cut it like that, boom. They will send it to CEO. You see how, what this Coco Mama is doing to you. You see the person you call your friend. So I don't want to say too much about what Lenny is. Not that I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Even if I wake up here and I've lost 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, like what happened to V, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be here. In fact, as a matter of fact, even if I have 1,000 people standing here every day with me, I'm still going to be here. I'm going nowhere. If you don't see me appearing here, probably there's something going on in the background. Either I'm attending to family, 
either I have exams, that I am planning on something, you understand, that I may not share here. So many stuff can make me not to appear here. But when I'm free, you will see me, bamba to bamba. And when I come here, whoever that will vibe with me is who I will vibe with. What happens in another channel, I am not bothered. What happens even on my friend's channel, I'm not bothered. Her win is my win. Her gain is my gain. Even if she's getting views, I'm not getting views. I'm still going to be here. This is Coco Mama. Because when I look at myself two, three years ago, when I started, I have every reason to be here. It's a work in progress. I'm happy with my progress. I'm happy with what I am doing here. I'm happy with the people that come here to support me. I'm happy with the support I get from you guys. This is the truth. But again, people will always say their own stuff. So let's give V and Victor a chance to prove to us what is really going on. I wouldn't expect him to be like, here you are, Vin is out of the hospital, like he said. Vin is out of the hospital. Here you are, this is Vin. No, I will even support him not to show Vin for now. Let Vin heal and come out on his own space. Dust himself, put himself together. He hasn't lost anything. Lenny hasn't lost anything either. Now, let me go towards the side of Lenny because I try to balance my things here, though some of you will not see it that way. What I want to say here, you see Lenny, you think it's easy on her, no matter the support she's getting, like most people support her, it's not easy for her. So we should also pray for her. It's not easy from both sides, but of course, the heat is more on Vin's side. So let's continue to support them. Even though it looks like this marriage is over, I feel like there's no remedy anymore. But miracle can happen. We are just here doing our own things. It's on them. It's up to them to do whatever they want to do. It's up to Lenny if she wants to go back to her husband and make things work. <laughs> you understand? It's up to them. All right, guys. If you watched at this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all so much for coming in to support your mama like you always do. Thank you for your love, your support, your words, criticisms. Oh, Rishi, 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 Rishi. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomest of my heart. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Yes. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Kokoma. I'll see you all in my another one. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye, guys. I can no more pretend. Just got on my defense. They do things for the end. Swear you go like me. Can I be your man? Bad friend with no relay Doing all the things you like My temperature rising